what we know uh, actually uh, when you take another uh, log mixture okay so this is the uh, log natural one minus x and this is the minus of this log natural this the minus sign is removed over here this is the point 0 0.066 and now you would take another log natural of this log natural of this will give you the all this value and these are calculated on for each of the weight loss which is mentioned before so now you can plot the uh, whatever this is the uh, your y-axis and this is your x-axis and i have plotted as a reference over here this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis, and when you plot, this will give you the graph. And this is very easy to plot. I just, as a reference, uh, I'm going to show you. You just select all this data and uh, go to the insert, take the this one, the scatter. This will give you the same value. So I'm going to delete this one and uh, this is the your curve which uh, I have uh, uh, mentioned uh, in the paper which is published already published. Now moving to the how to calculate the thermodynamics parameters. So this is this was the we ended actually up to here. Now these are our three phases. The first phase is ending. So this is the ended, uh, the last temperature. The first phase is ended uh, at uh, 250 because it is starting from 50 degrees centigrade and ending at the 250. The second phase is starting 250 to 350 and the third is starting to 350 to ending at the 570. So these three temperatures are taken uh, to calculate the thermodynamics parameter. Again, one by one, uh, this is the, you have to convert into the Kelvin, uh, 273, you have to add up over here, and uh, then you have to take the T square, but this is required, uh, the rest of the calculation. This is the slope, slope of the, each of the, the curve. Again, as a reference, I'm, I'm going to show you how to calculate all this slope because this is required to calculate the activation energy because here the you need a slope to multiply with the R to get the value of the activation energy. So there are the three curves. You have to calculate the slope for each of the line because there are the three lines and uh, I have given over here as a reference. Similarly, you can select the data from this up to 250. This is your phase one and to 50 to 350, this is phase two and 570, this is the phase three. So as a reference, I have used the first phase starting from 50 to 250. This is the data. And again, when you uh, plot over here, this will give you directly the uh, graph as I explained before, maybe you can this is the this is the same graph I have used over here, and you can calculate the uh, uh, the straight line equation. Go to the tra uh, trend line and select all these values, and this will give you the. So here, this is the y equal to m x plus c, and again, this is the same graph. So I am just removing this one. And using this as a reference. So this is your uh, uh, the slope and this is your the intercept and intercept is also required and the slope is also required for the calculation and again this is the 1.2575 and remember we have plotted on the x-axis with the by multiplying uh, with the, the thousand over here. So that means this is the value in the kilo and when you move to the uh, without kilo value that means you have to multiply by the thousand so this uh, uh, i have done over here that means your again your slope is the 
1.2575. So by multiplied by 2000, it will be 1.257.46. So this is important. So for the activation energy, similarly, you can do for the this and this by selecting the relevant data. And uh, when you multiply with the R, which is the 8.314, that will give you the value of the joule per mole. Again, if you want to take the same value one point, this will give you actually the, the value in the kilojoule. It doesn't matter. Now, moving to the other thermodynamics parameter, this is the feeding rate according to the equation. This is called the beta, and here this is the 20 uh, uh, Kelvin per minute. Actually, this is the rate, and it would be the same in Kelvin or in the centigrade. Uh, as well because this is the the changing the uh, the rate that means the temperature per minute time so when you take the difference uh, in Kelvin or the centigrade it would re remain the same so next you have to calculate the uh, beta multiply with the activation energy this is your beta this is your activation energy you can get the value of this and now for the, the second one, you have to multiply the R with the T square. T square you have already calculated over here. R is the gas constant. And when you multiply this, this will give you the value. Now you can calculate the uh, activation as you divided by the R T square. Why I have used? Because I, uh, this is the actually required uh, to calculate the that that's why I am using the activation energy is required a r t square is required intercept you have already calculated and pre exponential can uh, uh, actually uh, pre exponential factor I am going to calculate because this is required for the calculation for the other thermodynamics parameter so now uh, beta activation energy divided by the that means this divided by this this will give you the uh, according to the equation this is your intercept and uh, you uh, you can now calculate the x uh, take the anti log natural of the exponential factor why i have taken this one again look at the equation this is this equation is the intercept is the and when you calculate the a and then uh, first you have to because this is the log natural of all these then first you have to take the anti log natural of the intercept and we call it the exponential or anti log natural of the intercept okay then you uh, have to multiply beta activation energy and you have to divide by the rt square and this is given that way. this is the pre exponential factor and all these calculation for the how to calculate the pre exponential factor so this we have calculated intercept is from the equation again 1.4 remember this is the graph and the intercept is the 1.4 according to the first phase and similarly you can do for the second and the third phase so when you take the anti uh, uh, natural, this will give you this value. Now you can, according to the equation, you can solve. You just going to multiply this with this. That will give you the pre-exponential factor. That is the a, and all these factor of two over here. So again. This value uh, is per minute because you have taken the time in minute. So the uh, next is you have to convert into the per second uh, by using the this is the Planck constant as per uh, the equation. Now this is the, the a multiplied by h. That means you have to multiply all these two values. This is the Boltzmann constant, the value is given over here. And uh, the second factor is the KD. 
Boltzmann multiplied by temperature. Again, the temperature is the same as we have discussed before. This would be the 250, 350, or the 570. And now you can take the, uh, the ratio of EH over KT and take the log natural. And of this one, that will give you the actually when you multiply this with the R that will give you directly of the, the change in the entropy because the equation over here is as mentioned the change in entropy is R log natural EH over KT is the what we have calculated from the previous graph H is the blank constant K is the Boltzmann constant T is the temperature so everything is mentioned over here and you can uh, put the value and uh, uh, get the final value of the change in entropy. So first uh, thermodynamics uh, we have calculated over here that is the change in entropy. Now you can calculate the change in enthalpy by using the very simple equation that H will be equal to Ea minus Rt. Ea we have already calculated uh, from the uh, volume V6 uh, which is mentioned before Rt is the gas constant multiplied by the temperature in Kelvin when you subtract these two that will give you the value of the change in enthalpy again you can divide by 1000 to convert into the kilojoule so this is 6.106 now for the change in free energy this is the equation for the change in Gibbs free change in energy which is equal to delta H minus T delta S. And you have already calculated the delta H, you have already calculated the delta S. So just first multiply the delta S with the T. T is the same uh, as given for each of the phases, which I have mentioned before. And when you subtract all these two values, you will get the value of the change in free energy. So by using uh, this data, I have explained all the thermodynamics and the uh, its calculation. So finally, uh, look at the, the graph over here, uh, uh, which is mentioned in the paper. Uh, this is the kinetics parameter, and uh, these are given over here. These are the for the thermodynamics I have explained before. And these are the thermodynamics actually you can uh, mention in the form of the table so we differentiated with the dehydration decomposition and condensation at all these temperature calculate the value of the rate constant its half-life activation energy change in enthalpy change in entropy and change in free energy so all these uh, assuming these are the uh, uh, endothermic reaction because and this is the TJ curve energy is required to convert one form to another form. That's why uh, all these thermodynamics parameters are shown. This is the endothermic reaction. This is all about the calculation uh, about the uh, thermodynamics and the kinetics by using the TJ curve.